We've spent over 10 years on air, shaping a generation of action motorsports, and now we're changing the game again. The best motorsports, the best action sports, and the best of pop culture with some epic guests thrown in. I am Jim Beaver, and this is the Gentle Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. Grab the popcorn. Welcome to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. Jim Beaver here, and uh, this is a special episode uh, that we recorded on site at Cranon for uh, the Labor Day weekend races, the Red Bull World Cup, uh, the massive weekend they've got back there every single Labor Day at Cranon. Uh, sat down in Keegan Kincaid's uh, pits uh, the Thursday night before the race, had some beers, had uh, Tito with Impulse, Keegan Kincaid, uh, R.J. Anderson, even Tito, or excuse me, even Keegan's son, uh, you know, hopped on air. Brittany and I had a great time out there uh, for about an hour and a half recording this show. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And it's, uh, you know, a little backstory into Keegan, R.J. Anderson, a little trash talk, a lot of beer drinking, had a great time. Um, I've kind of delayed airing this for a week or so because we had such a good time on Thursday night recording it. And, uh, you know, the, the big reason for the, the delay in it was Cranon, you know, obviously had a, a shadow over uh, over Cranon this year with Zandy with uh, Rufus Racing passing away Saturday night in the Ultra 4 race. Uh, you know, he was a vision wheel athlete, a uh, guy I knew pretty well, uh, somebody that Brittany know, knew really, really well, and uh, just somebody that the entire off-road community really really liked being around and, and enjoyed, uh, you know, uh, his company. And, uh, you know, so it was one of those things where we had such a good time with this. I thought, you know, it, you know, we probably should wait a week or so before, before we air it. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, just a tough situation. So I just kind of wanted to, uh, to lay that groundwork before you listen to this, you know, and, and we did have an amazing time. It's a great show. And uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, we've got another big one coming up at the sand sports show. Uh, then another one coming up at off-road expo. Uh, so we definitely have some on-site remote shows. I think we're doing one at jet ski world finals. Uh, man, let me tell you, it is, uh, it is some really good content that's going to be dropping really, really soon here for the General Tire Jim Beaver Show. Uh, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Please, if you haven't already, uh, you know, we are on Sirius XM 200 AM FM networks on Saturday and Sunday. Depending on where you're listening to this, please go over to Apple Podcasts, hit the subscribe button, and please leave a rating and or a review. Uh, they definitely help us out, move us up the charts, and uh, let us know what you think of the show. It's at Jim Beaver 15 at Cardone 15 on social media. Man, love the feedback from you guys. Help us pick out guests, what events you'd like us to be at. Man, we are professional, uh, professionally fun employed, and uh, we like to live the life. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this show. We had a great time with RJ, Keegan, and uh, and Tito. And uh, go and check out our friends at Impulse Media. Uh, they've got their own podcast, a short course podcast. You guys will really dig that, I think. And, uh, yeah, we've also got the video version of this show dropping on YouTube, on our YouTube channel here very soon as well. So, uh, man, lots of good content to come. And with that, we're going to cut to a short commercial break, and we come back. Man, it is Tito, RJ, Keegan, myself, Brittany, throwing down at Cranon over beers. You're going to enjoy it. General Tire delivers for whatever life brings your way. General Tire's Grabber X3 all-season mud terrain tire offers aggressive styling and is engineered for durability with innovative performance features that are ready to carry you through extreme mud, dirt, and rock-covered terrain. For extreme traction that's ready for anything and rugged styling to match, look no further than the Grabber X3. General Tire delivers. Check out GeneralTire.com today. General Tire, official tire of the Jim Beaver Show. Conditions off the pavement are always changing, so why settle for a light bar that just turns on and off? The Rigid Adapt is a revolutionary new light bar that will automatically select from eight beam patterns that range from a widespread 90-degree flood to a 15-degree spot based on your vehicle's speed. Try that with your knockoff light bar. A dash-mounted controller allows the user to toggle between adaptive mode beam patterns and rgbw accent lighting with adapt it's easier than ever to own the night dig what you're hearing 
Well, do us a favor. Head over to Apple Podcasts and rate, review, and subscribe to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone and catch all of our back episodes. Welcome to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. We're sitting here with Keegan Kincaid and Tito. And I, I, I guess, I don't know, you guys, we're going to get into this history here, but I'm looking like, I feel like Keegan's under the bus because Tito's not even a Keegan Kincaid shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, it's a long story. I'm just like, dude, like, Keegan, are you just out to pasture? Tito just sold you out or what? We have time. <laughs> so I have uh, other, like, T-shirts and stuff from, like, the other guys that were filming. And, That's and actually J- good. And, and Jared's like, hey, man, how come you haven't been – uh, like rocking my shirt all year. I was like, well, first of all, I don't have one. <laughs> Second of all, I will at Crandon. And uh, I was like, okay, when's the best time? I had to like plan out my T-shirts on, on what to wear. So otherwise I catch hell for it. So I got Jared today. I figured it's the least important day. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Friday. Jared, bus. 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 <laughs> Keegan's like, good answer, buddy. Good answer. Friday is going to be Doug Mateg. Uh Saturday, I have a uh, Kyle Greaves and Corey Winter shirt because they, were, they used Old to be school. like teammates. And uh, I'll, I'll do that because they're both in the points championship. And then on Sunday is the day they're wearing Keegan's shirt because that's oh. the most important day. He can win a Pro 2 World Championship and the World Cup. And, uh, yeah, that's why I'd, I'd rock the Keegan shirt then. Good excuse. Plus, he only gave me one shirt, so. So I heard a rumor your budget's cut for Vision next year. We're giving yeah. Tito money yeah. to wear Vision products all weekend long. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Keegan, sorry. No, it's going to be a big middle finger, too. <laughs> and that, we're just going to pay you just to wear a shirt. Yeah, yeah, I'm big enough for a billboard, so yeah. I think I'll be fine. I did actually wear a Vision that, shirt That's here. called an influencer contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling billboard. Exactly. I did. I, I, I flew here and. uh one of the guys for Ricky G, his, his name's Ralph. He uh, was like, "Hey man," he's like, "Hey," he's like, uh, "Is is Jenny coming this weekend?" And I was like, "Who's Jenny?" And he goes, "Oh wait, aren't you aren't you with Vision Wheel?" I was like, "No, I'm just wearing like a hat, bro." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, I thought you were the big guy with Vision Wheel." I'm like, "No, man." I'm like, "You say yes." So yeah. You, oh, so I should thought you were Todd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, how I many still, free wheels do you want? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I'm still looking at this going, like, I'm pretty tight with Vision Wheel. Who's Jenny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I yeah, think awesome. it was Jenny or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, Jen. It's Jen. Jen. Oh, Jen. Oh, Jen. Jen. Okay, Jen. okay, okay. Really? Okay, okay. Really? You can figure that no. out from Jenny? Yeah. How many beers have we had? Yeah. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. Oh. Uh, so well, I, I don't even have nothing to say to your shirt. Thing you only you right. only gave me one shirt. At least you saved me for the best. First, actually, first of all, your wife gave me a shirt because it was raining and I was all muddy and dirty. And she goes, "Here, Tito, I got a shirt for you." I I'm like, you "Thank you." No, bucks. you would. Yeah, see, this <laughs> cheapo over here. That, I, was, that was like, "Don't make our stuff dirty. We'll since, give you a clean shirt." <laughs> since twenty <laughs> since twenty twelve, man, I've been buying a Keegan shirt every year. And then I start filming for Corey Winter and, and Kyle Greaves and like and Dave Winter's like, "Here, here's three. And I'm like, "Dude." Awesome, man. I, now I got one for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And old boy's like 20 bucks. You know what? Tuesday when we get back, Britt and I are ma- mailing I was just four, about to say. Four JB15 yeah. shirts. Dude, <laughs> say less. I'll wear them. They're like, Jim Beaver's here? I'm like, no, man. He's just hooking me up. As you can see, he's tight. <laughs> Only wears free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to all switch right, my shirt right. out because I worked for Red Bull yeah. about an hour ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> being, being from Mo Lake, we got to, you know. <laughs> yeah. Get what we can get. Well, I mean, on the group text, I mean, we we had Keegan wanting to marry you not long ago. So, I mean. Yeah. I've been carrying him my whole life. You so. stop it, man. I, <laughs> he carried me one time, and that was in golf last week. We're at even, a bachelor party. He even followed me to racing. <sighs> I, I I don't want to – okay, I was here first. Okay. I was here first. I was on this planet first before you were. I was going to say, you're here yeah. first. I'm like, I don't no, know. Kincaid's I was on this pretty planet deep first. <laughs> I, I started coming here at when, – when did you – when was your first no, Okay, so we got to rewind here. Well, first of all, we're all drinking beer at this point. If you're not watching the video, you listen to the podcast. <laughs> that was part of the rules of this thing. But I want to know the history of you guys because you guys go back to childhood. This is not yeah. like – Yeah. This is not something new. I mean, you guys go back way deep. How, well, how did this whole before, they're talking like womb talk right yeah, now. Yeah, we're talking yeah. womb talk. So <laughs> how deep did this go and how? when did you guys meet each other? How did this get lined up? <laughs> Oh, we got RJ going to come yeah. jump in I'll, here. In I'll, yeah. I'll let RJ get in. No, no we want to hear this yeah, first. We wanna hear yeah, we want to hear this, and we're getting RJ in. Yeah. Hey, don't roll it. <laughs> hey, we'll wait on you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> we got plenty of beer, RJ. Make sure you choke it. <laughs> <laughs> so RJ will be one of our future guests today, but we got <laughs> Tito right now. And this is going to get interesting. So your guys' history, how's this go? Because I'm sure there's two sides to this. Yeah, so we met way back then. Elementary school, yeah, probably grew up playing sports together. 
You know, he followed me through every sport. Oh, my God. Women's he volleyball. God damn it. Right? Yeah, so. God damn it. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was good at one sport, and that was basketball. That was yeah, That's it. why my back always hurt. You carry, you carried more <laughs> than just me. You carried the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, so we, uh, yeah, I remember, I think our first time that we had something that I remember was significant, I think we were in, like, third grade or fourth grade or something like that. We did a video project, and it was, like, me, him, and his cousin, and we went over to his house, and we filmed this thing. It was just really goofy and stupid for a project, and the reason why this sticks with me first is because I'm sitting there trying to do this, like, video thing, and all of a sudden I hear, like, a, like a, like a, and I feel the sharp pain in my arm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I feel the sharp pain in my Water. arm. And I'm like, what is that? And I look down, and there's a tack in my arm. <laughs> there's a tack in my arm. And I'm like, oh. And I, and I look over, and I see Keegan poking around the corner, and he's got a big blow dart gun. <laughs> and he's just he's giggling like a maniac. And I'm like, ah, oh, like there's a tack in my arm. And I was like, well, I don't know if I want to go over there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so He did. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, did we just road. become best friends? Yeah, yeah. So then uh, that was kind of like where uh, at least that trauma set in with with being around him. So yeah, <laughs> we played sports yeah all through high school together, and yeah, still just stayed close. Yeah, he was uh, prom king, and and then I was the runner up because <laughs> well, it's only like it's only because he was taller. They went by height, yeah. and I was like four inches shorter. So and now they like they're like okay, who do you want like on as your prom king? Like you know this this guy or this guy? So. That's that's why. I mean, my vote. Oh, obviously, they said you. Yeah, yeah. You, you were like, oh no, we'll be nice. Yeah, Here yeah, yeah. yeah. I gave I gave him the he spot. Got the minority minority vote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I got runner up. <laughs> <laughs> like we got to put somebody yeah. on there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, we uh, like you said, dude, we played football and a uh, little bit of basketball. I mean, I sat the bench, but. So and then okay. after that, yeah, we just uh, he thought he was playing football while he was playing basketball, yeah. <laughs> snapping the ball. Dude, you and me, that would be dude, a fun I, game. I played basketball and I was the enforcer. I was Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Literally, I'd come in. We need a that rebound. They would put me in for ten seconds. Literally, I'd go to the free throw line, bring the rebound down. They call a timeout, pull me out. <laughs> Literally, that was me in basketball. I was Dennis Rodman. So if you were that guy, the enforcer, like yeah. uh, high five, dude. Yeah. Like, That's what they it was. They were like, hey, we need a foul. Get in there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I because uh, the coach was like, well, he's got five fouls. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Put him out of the game, but don't don't like maliciously put him out of the game. But we really want that guy out of the game, and it, it, you come in and just like, yeah, yeah. So I would coach would be like, oh, go go in there, rough him up, body him up, and he knows. So the way like I would play defense is I I had really good basketball defense, but like whenever someone tried to like back it in, I would fucking yeah, front, I mean, front I, mean I mean flipping. I'd give, I'd, I'd it's give, all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, we can bleep this stuff. I'd, I'd, I'd give him, I'd give him, like, because I'm, I'm a chubby guy, so I'd give him the gut. I just, uh, uh, and I'd be hitting him back, and I'd get, I'd get a, a, a penalty, a foul, and a I'm like, penalty. I'm, penalty. Like, what, I'm like, what for? I'm like, what for? And he's like, come on, you're bodying him. I'm yeah. like, well, no shit. Like, of course, like that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> he was at disadvantage. Yeah, so I was like, whatever, man. So I had fouls to give. Yeah. Just Time out. Up. Try humping on the gore. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, no, and then uh, and then after that, um, he got into racing, so it made it. I mean, we were yeah, already I let him drive. He was the first person I ever let drive my truck. Pro yeah, light. I'm yeah. So glad he finished that sentence. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was. He drove the Pro Light when I was in Pro Light days. Yeah, I gave him a chance to drive it. I remember he texted me. He goes, "Hey man, uh, you want to come over and drive the Pro Light?" I thought he was kidding. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, man. He goes, no, seriously, I think you said we were putting it away for the winter or something like that. Well, we were just going to take it apart. Yeah. Get it prepped. And then he was like, do you want to come over? I was like, yeah. So I drove, I went over there, jumped in, and I took it down uh, his parents' uh, dirt driveway. And his mom goes, he goes, if you mess up the driveway, you got to yeah. go out there and rake it. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'm like a little kid. I'm just sitting there driving it. I'm like, oh, this is so much fun. I got a big old grin on my face. And it's time to turn around. So I, I go like this, and I try to turn it around. And it doesn't turn on a dime. So I'm thinking, like, all right. This is my chains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Dirt Superstar right here. So, wow, I hit it right. The back end kicks around, and, like, and, and there's a lot more power than people think. Like, you know, you have, like, a Ford F-150, or, you know, you're in the parking yeah. lot. This thing whipped around, and, and like, <laughs> I thought I was going in, like, the pickers, dude. I was like, I was like, ah! And, like, I ripped the wheel back, and then, and then I, my foot stayed down. So, like, and I'm like, I don't know, can I shift? And I was like, Kh! and I went into second. I was like, oh, that was cool. And then, and then as I'm going down the road, I'm like, oh, I better slow down. I don't want Keegan to think I'm, like, messing up his truck. So then I went down to first, and I, like, glided in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's Mario from Red Bull. Hey, welcome to Grandin. Welcome to Grandin. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know and, Mario from Red Bull, yeah. right? Yeah. All the locals. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I uh, I so so I pulled in and I was like, I, dude, I was trying to brag to Keaton. I was like, bro, I got to second gear, yeah. and he goes up to the thing and he like presses the thing and he's like, you didn't even hit the rev chip. I was yeah. like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thought but, he was going fast, but I got in the second. <laughs> he was like on Talladega night. Yeah. Ricky so did Bobby. your mom at that point come out and be like, you got to rake the oh, damn driveway? He, so he did. He had, he took a rake and he had to go rake. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah. Colleen goes, did you rip up my driveway? And I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'll, no, I'll own it. Yeah. I was like, ain't no hiding it. <laughs> Big old rip in there. Yeah. So we had to go out there, and I had to go. He was raking. Yeah, I had to go I, rake I just it. have a great hook up to the back of it, so I raked it when you Oh, yeah, oh dude, that, that's, that's money yeah. right there. Just get a great drag behind the pro yeah. lights. So every yeah. time you slide it sideways, it's just, just dragging it behind you. You're like, I'm helping the driveway yeah. right now. Next time. Yeah. Next, Next time. time. Uh, I mean, if that was in a pro lot, I could only imagine him in a pro two key. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. So, so our bet is. Oh, yeah. That was early, too. That was, what, 2012, 2011? Oh, what did I say? What was it again, the bet? Uh-huh. So we were talking about turn one, and he goes, I I don't know if it was I said I could or, like. Yeah, he said you couldn't hit it flat-footed. Yeah, he goes, I bet you can't hit it flat-footed, like, turn one in a pro truck. And I was like, I could do that. And he goes, but you can't wreck. I'm like, well, come yeah. on, man. Like, we're- I, I pick feel like- one. Just pick so, one. So, we, we, so thankfully here at Cran, and we've, we do have a segue into that, we need to go into the VIP bar, and we got, we'll put a Pro 4 Ooh. on the sim racing rig. Oh, yeah. And I want to see Ooh. Tito in a Pro 4 going to turn one. Into the wall. So if I hit it flat-footed and What's make it out, yeah. does that cut in half then to 500? Can't hit nothing. Dude, I, don't even start. Don't even start. I know I'd hit it flat-footed. Just give me, give me, give me a little go around on Bark River, one little, one little. I only need one lap yeah. around like Bark River, and I'll get it figured out. This guy can't win at nothing. We were playing at dirt. How dare you? <laughs> That's not even fair. And he's like, "Come on, man! I want to beat you. Get on." That's not even and fair. We get on. He's, he's gonna win the foot race yeah. tonight. So uh, no, we do dirt four. It's like online stuff, and I'm like, dude, I got this figured out, man. I got lap, uh, dude. I'm I'm on it, and we we jump online, and it's him, and he like pulls away. I'm like, I'm hitting like my lines i'm hitting everything i need to and then i ask him i'm like dude like how are you how are you like doing this and he goes oh i just i have my truck set up and stuff like that i was like i was like come on man that's not fair we're talking default stock trucks he's out here like tuning everything and like like downforce and updraft and alternators and i'm like that's not fair man i'm like you have knowledge in that we're talking about just default trucks bro and uh like so then he's like oh you know give you a head start you know give you a head start i was like all right dude on, you're on. He still beat me. So we had another bet. <laughs> um, this one was a little more funny. It, well, it was a uh, started in the, I think it might have started in Pro Light days or something. Or no, Cup Ray. Or no, it's Pro Light. Pro Light. And it was um, every lap I led at Crandon, they were either going to chug a beer or do a shot. Well, there was like three years straight where I led like every lap. And they didn't want to do that no more. They didn't think that was fun anymore. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't never, fun. You guys are in a coma after the oh, yeah. weekend. So that was the drunkest my sister had ever seen me. I that was so I think it was twenty fourteen. I don't even think you finished them all. I finished them all. I, I don't even remember who won Pro Two or Pro Four. Got I a stomach the pumped day. at the local yeah. hospital, but he finished them all. So, yeah. So he, he did <laughs> every lap. So he it sounds did, like our Supercross. Yeah. <laughs> so he did every lap. Wins every lap. Right. Wins the race. I'm hammered. I and so my sister tells me the next day. What had happened is that after the after the race was done, we go back to the to the truck, and I'm like, I gotta go bathroom. So they're like, okay, do you know where it is? And I'm like, yeah, they trust me enough. So <laughs> they're in the truck, and then and then all of a sudden I come back, I come back to the truck, and I've got a full um, margarita or like a, a <laughs> strawberry daiquiri, like a full daiquiri, and they're like. Where did you? They're like, where did you get that? And I was Who like, that tea? and I was like, I found it in the bathroom. Stole some like, guys. No, <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. I was like, I found was it going next to you. And he's like, What's yeah. I, I was like, I f- up and over the yeah. stall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need that. Yeah. No, I, I was like, I found it in the bathroom. And they're like, why do you have it? I'm like, no, no, no. The top was on it. I'm just drinking from the cup, so it's clean. No one peed in it. And. <laughs> And then, like, as we were leaving, I had it in the cup holder, and they took a turn. It spilled everywhere. And uh. at that point, my dad my dad doesn't drink, so to have alcohol in the car was, was bad news. And my sister had to clean it up, and all because of this guy. 
Not because of me. All his fault. Uh, all because of him. He's I like, think oh. you made that bet. No, you're you, like, you said it. You said, I, all right, every lap you lead, how about I'll I, I did it for motivation. I didn't yeah. think you were going to take it to heart. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what's great about this whole interview, though, Britt? Like, what, so that T- I just T- came T- out with ideas no, for T- tomorrow? T- <laughs> yeah. T- Tito's telling all, these, uh, telling all these stories, and Keegan hasn't rebuted one of them yet. Like, <laughs> So you're like, these boys are on the same page. Like, this is no, all yeah. true stuff. It's not yeah. like, this isn't like, fishtails. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. This is what it's like being up. with them. Yeah. We got a lot of good bets. Yeah, well. I, I will say, like, I, I've i kind of partied with Keegan one time after the cup win. And uh, oh, I think it was RJ's cup win. I can't uh, remember. Probably. Anyways, we end up in group therapy, right? I will tell you I'm glad he's my friend. Because if I ever get in a fight, I watch that some bitch with a dragon punch machine. <laughs> like, dude, I want I want that guy on my side. If I ever get in a fight, yeah, Keegan's got my back. <laughs> I've so, done that in a while. So, <laughs> I, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, you probably already know this. I probably already told you, but you can get this dude to just spend money on on the punch machine. Oh, dude, he was putting twenty dollars in at a time. It was- so, and and I noticed that. So then I was like, I, I, it was a, it was a joke around like all all the guys where I was like, hey man, watch this. I would go up and I'd put like one or two or three dollars in. I was like, Keegan, like, come on, let's go. And then so I would just I would sissy punch this thing right, and he's he's got like a technique down on it. <laughs> oh, and then he would get the it. Machine yeah, every yeah. Time. And then and then I'd be like I'd be like that's all you can do. And you're like, oh no. So then yeah. <laughs> he would go put another twenty in, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And then he would keep feeding it in, and I'm like, and we were like, okay, how much do you think we can get Keegan to put in this fucking machine? I mean, this flipping machine. Yeah, we're good with yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How much can we? Anytime we, we're publicly this, drinking beer yeah, on air, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. is okay. I was like, how much do you, we can get him to put in this machine? I think the most I ever see him uh, put in it was eighty bucks. I probably put more than that. I saw no, that I was there I, for. I will say that night yeah. in, in the group there, I don't know. There had to have been a couple hundred oh, was that dollars. When, remember when, is that the same night Travis was hitting it? I think so, yeah. Because I, think I, I won more money. That uh, Yeah, that was when RJ won it because I think I yeah, won RJ more money won on the punching bank oh, than okay. I did yeah. at the racetrack. It was, <laughs> that, I mean, there's been, and I feel bad for Britt because I keep telling her, like, oh, Sunday night at Cran and it's off the chain, and she hasn't oh, quite shit. seen it yet. Oh, man. And I'm like, no, man. like, it's. It, Sleeveless Sundays? Yes. Yeah, make sure so wear a T-shirt. No, I've learned that the hard way because RJ decided to bring that back to Vegas for Mint one day, Ugh. and so I walked into Hogs and Heifers, and I had a hoodie on, and then it turned into a sleeveless hoodie. Yeah, hey, it looked like Bill and Belichick. Then, so I was like, screw <laughs> this. So I took it off, left it at Bill Hogs Belichick. and Heifers, and about 3 in the morning, all of a sudden I got this picture of some homeless dude wearing my, my, my <laughs> best no. hoodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I know all about Sleeveless Sundays, but... I've only heard about the Cran and shenanigans. He keeps telling me, oh, this is prep, this is pregame, oh, let's yeah. go, we're ready. She, we, yeah. we buy the afternoon flight just so we don't <laughs> have to leave drunk. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. It's well, like I don't know. Vegas because at 5 in dude, the morning. last time, you guys were all asleep yeah. by, like, midnight. It was sad. I I I'm, I'm disappointed in each and every one of you. I, I will saying. say June Cran and she ended up bartending. Yeah, no, no, uh, true, group therapy. Oh, yeah. She Duke was a bartender. Not as, not as wild as. No, yeah. it was. We had a good time at the bar, but there, I mean, hope he had to drag somebody out drunk and yeah. like that guy was like literally guy tripped, fell on his face, and Obi's like, "You got to go." And the guy wanted to fight Obi, and Obi's yeah. like, "Dude, you don't want to do this," and literally just drug him out. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll admit, and I'll say too. I think I already told you that whenever he like he's yeah. won the World Cup twice now. We got two cruise lights in there. Woo! Sorry, what? No, he's <laughs> <laughs> he's won the World Cup twice. And each time hasn't made it past midnight, but every other time, like I like, know before that, after that, whenever he doesn't win, he'll be out till like two a.m. and he's a great time. You okay, drink so, your so, sorrows away, man. so I'm mixed. <laughs> I want you to win, but at the same time, like I keep hearing all these legendary stories, and I haven't seen one of them yet. Like his cousin comes back with a chipped tooth. Yeah, <laughs> no, we literally <laughs> donated a tooth to the to the Cranon Cup that year. Yeah. Like one one of the parties in here, I can't remember if it was you winning. RJ, my cousin, anyways, literally he goes to drink out of the cup. The cup bashed him in the oh. thing. He turns around and his tooth is cut it off. And we start, I goes, where's the rest of your tooth? He goes, I think it's in there oh, with the no. rest of the liquid. Oh, so everybody's God. drinking out of it. And we're like, half a tooth oh. is, in the, is in the cup. No joke. <laughs> my cousin <laughs> chipped a tooth oh, and it went my. in the cup. And everybody's still drinking it. I'm just like, Had yeah, to wait until it was empty to go find it. So there was a, <laughs> or, you, or you see somebody like, <laughs> 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 no, that is no joke, dude. <laughs> my cousin donated oh, a tooth no. to the cup, oh, chipped it on no. it, and he's like, I guess there's no better way to chip a tooth than saying I did it at Cranon on the cup. Oh, <laughs> dude. Did you see one year that they lit a car on fire, like, oh, in the back Deegan? over there? Yeah, oh, Deegan okay. and those guys lit a car. Again, like I said, I hear these stories, but every time I show up, there's no Jurassic yeah. Park. There's no naked slip and slide. There's no this. I, I'm going to. Well, the problem is naked slip and slide always happens, just not the people you want to see your naked. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I want to yeah. see the train wreck. 100%. All I'm saying it's is, probably going is tonight. like, nice out. every nice time 
So are we are we venturing back into Jurassic Park? I mean, warm out tonight. So. Ken. <laughs> so no, it's I, I want to go to Jurassic Park. They with come Keegan out when it's warm out. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen anything wild like on the slip and slide at all? I, I have. I, oh. There was one year where it was firing. Lies. I mean, it was. I think really? it's all lies. They had the hot yeah. tub on the top. And yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. In the hot tub, and they jump out. Yeah, and the bubble nope. machine. Was yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. I saw some dude. Well, it, it, the, it was the she one. She hasn't seen it. Like I feel like we. She poor girl. Like I haven't given her the full fan experience. Our most most exciting night was Spring Crandon, the walk back. Oh, yeah. From what used to be group therapy back so, to the VRBO. So we, wa- we walk out, and her and I, we had the car parked at Ducks. We walk out, and there's literally like seven officers parked across the street yeah. from group therapy all standing on their bumpers. And her and I look at each other. And then I saw the, the, the walk, yeah. two, three, four, five that were sitting in the dark with their their. Yeah. Their lights off, and I'm like, and how far is it? What's the address? I look, I go, it's a half mile. I'm like, yeah, screw it, That's let's okay. go. We had yeah. a drunken half mile yeah. walk, and it was hun- it was funnier than hell. It yeah. literally was. So I, I might still have a few uh, septic system flags. There was or flags, whatever. and she's pulling up. Oh, a green flag! Oh, I'm a red flag! I'm a green flag! <laughs> I'm like, you're a you're she a has sewer a thing for like, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we went by, but she has a thing for succulents and flowers and things. Yeah. So we walk by, she's like, oh, flowers! She's picking yeah. flowers oh, out of like. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the cannas. <laughs> the cannas. Oh, can- I'm like, canna seeds. Here we go. I'm like ripping them off. I'm like, don't oh worry, plant gosh. these later. I'm handing them stocks. Nobody knows what a canna seed is. It <laughs> doesn't matter. You get the point. You a wake fly. up, you got it a big old bouquet it, in the morning. It, 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 disclaimer, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't a cannabis seed. It was yeah, a canna can- seed. Oh, canna yeah. seed. Canna, canna seed. seed. <laughs> Regardless of what it was, I was handing you yeah. random plants and was like, here, just plant this when you get home. It's fine. <laughs> no, I, I hope it changes for you, man. Like yeah, because so far, really that's do. my most oh, exciting man. night in Crandon. Yeah. No the, <laughs> the sli- no, the slip and slide, I saw a guy go head first. He's butt naked. Goes head first, <laughs> and I don't know what he did, but he landed hard, like on his chest. And, like, when he landed, he went this way. And then as he went by, I'm like, what is that? The dude... The dude pooped. <laughs> <laughs> on the slip and slide. <laughs> and I hit my friends. I was like, yo, hey, man. I'm like, you see that? Is that what I think that is? And we're like, oh, my God. Really? Hey, we're trying to let people up there. <laughs> hey, this guy pooped, dude. <laughs> and then somebody went through it and oh, just no! smeared it. Oh, no. Dude, it was so bad. I'm like, I'm not going down now. <laughs> We're going to need some more soap. Exactly. Oh, dude. Somebody come hose this down. Oh. Yeah, because that'll do it at that point. Yeah. yeah God, so. Can we just pour some bleach down it yeah, before exactly. the next people go? So maybe do a track walk before you go down. <laughs> yeah. Track walk. Track walk. <laughs> what was the movie we just watched with the little, they're like. Oh, with Kevin you, Hart. You let a rabbit poop on his bed. He goes, no, that was me. Yeah. That was oh, me. Yeah. So Kevin Hart and uh, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I just, just saw that, the yeah. next. So the whole thing with Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber, she crapped on the bed, right? Yeah. So there's this new one with Kevin Hart and, and Mark Wahlberg. So Kevin Hart, he thought this girl, this guy was, like, banging his wife or something. So he goes and poops on the guy's oh, bed. Yeah. But it was like this little <laughs> rabbit turd. He's like, but I, he's like, dude, he's like, I went earlier in the day. I just couldn't muster up yeah. anything bigger. Oh, he's like, but I did that man. on command. <laughs> dude drops a hemorrhoid, not even yeah. a turd. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be super embarrassing. <laughs> okay, but I, I don't want to ask any more details yet at the same time. Did the guy at least know? No, he knew. Because <laughs> yeah. you can tell, even when somebody like, acts like they didn't know, they the, still knew. The like, worst part is he kept going down. <laughs> like, he kept doing oh, it. Oh, he's oh, hide he went it. back yeah, for he, another no, round? Yeah, he went oh, back. So he no. was already going down, like, like steady going, like, six times. And then, like, the seventh time, like, he pooped. And then we were like, oh, dude, there's poop. And someone else went through it. And then... He walked back around and, and did it again. And, like, he knew where he pooped because he went on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to avoid it. Yeah, yeah. He kept going around it. And I'm like, this guy knows. Like, yeah, there's no exactly. way you don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Poor Keegan, you're stuck racing on yeah. weekends like this. Yeah, you know? I don't get to experience a lot of that. <laughs> oh, we got a delay here. Uh, uh, live. Gosh. Live at the track. Yeah. These race cars would just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, act like they're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, Lord. Stop wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, right. Just give it up. <laughs> I do feel like if I was everybody else in Pro 2 this weekend, I'd be pretty damn nervous. Because this guy, like, has no offense, but you got nothing to lose this weekend. Like, no. it's full on, like, 
you're going out for the jugular this yeah, week. Yeah, look at his, like, like, you can see it. He just looks away. He's like, yep. No, but seriously, yeah. I mean, it's it's like a guy in, like, I don't know. Like, it's, everybody's got to be goddamn scared of Keegan Kincaid at this point because you're not in it for the points at this point. It's all about the wins, right? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I think, well, the way this year's went. Yeah, I'm talking. You want to say something? Keegan Kincaid. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, your you, name, though? You got to give your name yeah, out. What's your name? Kincaid. I think you got a little milk on there. Here. Come here, bud. <laughs> you got a little milk on there, son. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, it is. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, we've had some gremlins all year. So uh, just here and there, just something that's happened. Like, come here, bud. All fine fire. But uh, we're ready to go. Let it all hang out this weekend. Hey, go sit down over there. Right, we're going to sit you down. We promised you an interview. We're going to yeah. let your dad interview here. Put your headphones on. Set your milk down. Yeah. Probably your, hide the natty light here. Set your drinks down. <laughs> Put your headset on. Head All right. so small, it probably fits in. And we're going to get Keegan's son mic'd up here, and uh, we'll be back after this short break right here on the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. General Tire offers a wide variety of options that are designed to deliver for whatever life brings your way. Whether you have a truck, car, or SUV, General Tire delivers for whatever you drive. From the long-lasting all-season Altimax RT43 to the aggressive all-terrain Grabber ATX, General Tire covers on-road performance, off-road capability, and durability. General Tire delivers. For more information, drive over to GeneralTire.com. General Tire, official tire of the Jim Beaver Show. Don't just shred your way through any off-road rugged terrain. Get into gear with GSP XTV and let us redefine your adventure. The GSP advantage of quality and performance sets the standard for UTV axles. We strive to provide premium ATV and UTV axles to keep you shreddy ready. Kick up some dirt and get in the driver's seat with GSP XTV. With over 35 years of experience, drive with a company you can trust. Drive with GSP. For more information, please visit us at gspxtv.com today. When looking for a new wheel for your off-road vehicle, car, truck, or UTV, the choice is easy. You choose what the pros use. Rob McCachron, Keegan Kincaid, and myself, Jim Beaver, all exclusively use Vision Wheel, whether we're dominating Baja, taking the cup at Cranon, or shredding UTVs. Vision Wheel's trend-setting designs and durability will set you apart from the competition and your friends. Check out visionwheel.com or at Vision Wheel on social media to learn more. Life is all about sound, the sound of sports, the sound of the racetrack, and the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Social media? Yeah, we've got that. Jim Beaver 15 on all major platforms and Jim Beaver Show, JB15 Group, and B Cardone 15 on the gram. Welcome back to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone, and uh, we are out here at Crandon. Can all you right. hear me, Nash? Yeah. All right, Nash. All right. We're, we're going to let your dad give Nash Kincaid here an interview. Who is your favorite race car driver? Dad. Yeah. Who, let's see, what other questions do we have? What class do you want to race? Mm. What's your favorite class? Do you like those little carts, or which ones do you like the most? Little carts. Who, who's your favorite brother? What's he? <laughs> Poor Caden. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Tito, what do we got for him? Um, who is your favorite uncle? He's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Who's your favorite uncle? My dad. No, so, Corey. Your, your uncle dad? Corey. Yeah. I'm just his favorite all around. <laughs> I got him brainwashed. Do you like, do you like chicken nuggets or mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. Ooh, that's good. Uh, what's your favorite color? Blue. Why is it blue? Yeah, he was mad because we did the class 11. He yeah. was mad that it was in an orange one and not a blue one. <laughs> He's like, you need to go with the blue one. Kept telling me. Didn't you? <laughs> what do you want to be when you get older? What elephant. You, a what? Elephant. An elephant? An elephant? <laughs> elephant trainer or just an elephant? 
Just an elephant. Just an elephant? All right. Yeah, well, what do you want to be like? Who's your favorite superhero? Batman. Batman? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's but he favorite. don't even have any special powers. That's what makes him the He's best. rich. He, yeah. He's rich, Keegan. He's rich. Yeah, I am. You're you rich? You're rich, yeah. All right. <laughs> Does Dad know you're rich? No. No? no. Oh, he's hiding out from you. Do you. What do you like to do? do you, what's your favorite sport? What do you like to play? Baseball. Yeah, you like baseball, don't you? Yeah. All right, what's your favorite video game? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite? <laughs> oh, you just listen to Caden too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know those Fortnite players. It was like, yeah. what, $3 million oh, in the yeah. world champion one? Yeah. I think we're in the wrong yeah, sport. Yeah, we are game. in the wrong sport for sure. And cost I'm them. I'm racing a little, little race car. You are? You're going to race a little race car? Yeah. What number are you going to be? One. Number, number one? Number one? I like it. Oh, all right. Who, who, okay, here, here's a really tough one. If Grandpa and your dad were racing, who would win? Grandpa. What? Oh! I would win, right? <laughs> okay, Tito's like, I'm pleading the fifth yeah. on this one. <laughs> Depends what class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're done talking. You're sleeping with Grandpa tonight. <laughs> You're going with Grandpa this yeah. week. Yep, you could stay with Grandpa tonight. Now. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. No, you. <laughs> Me? He goes, no, you. Uh, that's so awesome. So tell everybody how old you are. No, you got to say. Free. Yeah. Free? I'm free. How did you lose your teeth? Then they took them out. Why did he take them out? Because I broke my head on the toilet. Yeah, and lost two front teeth. Yeah. Didn't you? That one had to hurt. Yeah. yeah, he's I had did. a lot of accidents already. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm not right. surprised. It happens yeah. to the best of us, buddy. Yeah. Not with him. And Kaden, we have to play ba- baseball in practice. Yeah, he does. Kaden does. Yeah, what does Wesley fo- like to do? Play football. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us. All You're right. Welcome. Good All job, right, bud. Good. Nice job. All right. Ready? Good job. Yeah. Your first interview. All right. Well, we'll see you later. Yeah, you yeah, give her yeah. your headset back. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. <laughs> no, Wesley, you wouldn't get him to do that. <laughs> he wouldn't even come up here. He was good. He just rolled yeah. right in. Natural. Oh, that's my milk now. <laughs> I will say we learned a little interesting tidbit. Match race between Keegan yeah. and Jeff. I mean, your kids got grandpa. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, Ooh, yeah. like I said, I think it depends on class. I'd lay the old man out. <laughs> and, I feel like if your dad was going to lose, he'd just take you out. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, no, like, literally, I think he would just be like, no, yeah. there's no way not I will it. take Keegan yeah. out. Yeah. Not happening. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that, hey, actually, that, we did race head to head. I got the up on him. Did you? He let you in, though. In Pro 2, no, I had the up on him. I was going to say, I, so I, I don't remember at the, like the end of his career, the beginning yeah. of years, did you guys yeah. ever race? Yeah, yeah. we did. Uh, he raced, uh, actually he had, uh, yeah, we both raced Pro 2 once. Yep. And he raced Pro 4 and I raced Pro 2. Yep. And he never beat me. I don't know, man. It's I, weird I, when it won't. Th- that would be an interesting question. Uh, out of, because. Uh, like all the parents. Well, he, well they've, they've raced, they've raced Pro Light, Pro 2, and Pro 4. And uh, who do you think would win uh, in Pro Light, Keegan or uh, Jeff? I'd give my dad probably Pro Light. Which track? Ooh, that's a good question. What track do you think? Like Crandon or Bark River? I think. Well, I think. Okay, so Pro Light. I also think if we're going Pro Light, we've got to add in. Okay, is it old school Pro Light with four cylinders and manual, yeah. or is it the newer Pro Lights with the you know with the V8 and the you know and the automatic like? Let's go automatic. Let's go with the later, the later pro light. I, I would say later pro light. Keegan, old school pro light. Yeah. I, I'd say Jeff. Uh, what about pro two then? Like back when they were nine hundred horsepower, not not the not the ones now. That'd be interesting. I liked those ones. I would actually love to see prime Jeff, prime Keegan in match. Pro twos going yeah. doing war like that I would just actually be curious, like especially on a track that neither had actually been on. Yeah, or if they did like the the head to head like the duel of champions at Andigo. Yeah, like that'd be cool. Like four laps or something. I don't know. <clears throat> that'd be fun. 
I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We need Possibly. to get we need to get a couple SSTs out here so they're yeah. like literally identical and let you and your dad just That'd be, be fun to do that like with uh all, like all the dads. Yeah. Oh, dad's son Ooh. race. Ooh, I'm liking this. Cuz we've only Actually. been spoiled by the by the Greaves and it'd be nice to like have something like him and Jeff or, you know, somebody. Oh, we finally got RJ. No, we, we got, got RJ. Well, even that, I mean, she's what Randy did the UTV race and beat everybody like get Randy yeah. and RJ like Randy'd have no problem taking RJ out. Oh yeah, I think he'd, he'd <laughs> definitely play dirty with RJ. <laughs> you got a shotgun of beer first. Yeah, yep. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we got our. Come on, princess. Go. Come on, RJ. <laughs> All right, so this is actually a perfect time to segue into RJ. Yeah, Tito's absolutely. Tito's bound out here for a minute. Yeah. And when we come back from this short break, R.J. Anderson will be in the house with Keegan Kincaid, Brittany, and I right here on the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. When it's time to replace the tires on your vehicle, General Tire delivers the tires you need for both your next big adventure and your daily commute. Whether you need all-season traction, lasting tread wear, or a quiet drive, General Tires are designed to deliver whatever life brings your way. From all-season ultra-high-performance tires for passenger cars and crossovers to extreme all-season mud terrain and tires for light trucks and SUVs, General Tire delivers great performance. To find your ideal tire, visit GeneralTire.com. General Tire, official tire of the Jim Beaver Show. Are you looking for a place to push yourself behind the wheel and see how your driving skills stack up? Dirtfish Rally School is that place. Located on 315 acres of pristine automotive playground at the foot of the Cascade Mountains in Snoqualmie, Washington, right outside of Seattle, Dirtfish Rally School is a -a one-of-a-kind place where everyone from first-time drivers to seasoned professionals like Bucky Lassick and Antoine Lestage can push themselves to their limit. Whether driving the high-performance rally-prepped all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza STI is what you're looking for, or you'd rather hang it all out in the rear-wheel drive Subaru BR Z's, Dirtfish Rally School has something for everyone. Classes are available from two hours to three full days and feature instructors with over 150 years of combined racing experience. Whether you're looking to become the best and get an edge on the competition or just looking to freshen your skills behind the wheel, Dirtfish Rally School is the place to go. For more information on registering for classes, visit Dirtfish on the web at dirtfish.com or to check out the latest happenings from Dirtfish, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dirtfish Rally. Life is all about sound, the sound of sports, the sound of the racetrack, and the sound of your vehicle. Don't drive around listening to this. Drive around listening to the sound of performance. Gibson Performance. Gibson Performance Exhaust is the company who can turn this into this. Remember that life is all about sound, and Gibson Exhaust is the sound of performance. Check out your next catback exhaust system, headers, muffler, or UTV exhaust at GibsonPerformance.com and get more power and more sound. Thanks for listening to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. Available online on Sirius XM, on AM FM networks across the U.S. and internationally on the American Forces Network. Head to JimBeaver15.com for all the details. Welcome back to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. So we're having we're having a conversation here, RJ. Okay. These are a little warm, but you I, still uh, got to crack one anyway. A little. So. I'm like. Yeah. All right, we've got two cold Coors Lights over there, though. Um. <laughs> Well, cheers. So we're, <laughs> cheers. We're having a conversation here on dad. So we're having this conversation on Keegan versus Jeff Kincaid, and we're talking about And he said, it'd be fun if we had, like, some race where it was, like, identical vehicles, dads came out. And I'm like, I dad's don't know. I'm case. like, I saw Randy Anderson win the UTV race. I'm like, Randy and RJ, like, I, I could see your dad putting you in the wall with no questions asked. Oh, his strength and disadvantage is he can't see anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't so, see you. Either. So, like, when he says he, like, couldn't even see, he's actually telling the yeah. truth, and so he just goes for it either way. But, yeah, that yeah would, I think, I think we got one up on our dads now. Yeah, yeah. My dad's, I don't think he can jump anymore either. Yeah, no, I, I, in a UTV, my dad can't see. He just <laughs> goes for it in a truck. I don't think he'd want to go that, that pace. <laughs> well, we've had this conversation, right, about what, what is that tipping point of when you get to become that old senile person. I don't know. When, when you I mean, get annoyed? Still going, so. Well, I'm not even talking yeah. about racing all that. Yeah. We're just saying daily on Bus the street. Johnny yeah. 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 under. Yeah. That's not what I was trying yeah. to get at for the Grandpa. record. <laughs> yeah. He does call himself yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa. Every time he gets on the podium, he calls us out as Gramps. So. Yeah. But we're just saying, like, we all have those those old people we either know. I mean, I'm just going to pay my kids or back. See, and that, that might be I mean, all those diapers. I'm a, no, so I'm I, like, if I'm, when I'm old, I'm going to do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah so when? <laughs> that's all I'm saying when is when is start? that transition? Yeah. I'm going to yeah, say, like, 73. Ooh, that, 73. that's 73. 
Yeah. I think it starts later than you think. I'm just like, not ready. For I know my dad quit racing desert. Um, actually, one of his last races we did together, and I, I literally started cramping, and he did half the race. We ended up getting second place in Class 8. But after that, Oh, wait. What happened? Cramping. Uh, no, literally, the, it was his old Class 8. And when I first started out, and my dad's, like, quite a bit shorter than me, so my knees were up on my chest, and my leg literally started cramping, like, 300 miles into a 400-mile like, race. Class 11 you were, today. Yeah. you were cramping or cramping? That's yeah. what I was like, hold yeah. on, what happened? Well, she knows me well enough to know I'm kind of grandpa now because my back's so bad, but... <laughs> No, yeah. he's just got the senile part. Yeah. Yeah, that, too. Yeah. She was making fun of me. Wait, how old? 44? Yeah. Me? Not he says even. 73. He's got 44. Yeah. Well, I'm, like, I'm 41 right now, yeah. so I'm it's like, I got three close, years. Yeah. I got three and years. And it goes downhill from then? Yeah. No. Oh, man. That's Dude, it goes quick. downhill after 21 when you drink like we do, RJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the big 30 coming up next in a couple months. So Ooh. I hate you. Uh. Can you. Can you just leave now? <laughs> It's not seventy three, you know. <laughs> so are we partying? Are we partying in, uh, in at the river or what? Like, I mean, we, I don't know. Is it like you guys. See, he's getting old. Goes, the senile yeah, part starting to exactly. go. It's like <laughs> it hurts way more, you know. Like, Again, no, no, like we do know. So we don't want to yeah, hear about it. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the baby. Here. You know? The problem is, I have a twenty two year old brother, <laughs> so then I have to run yeah. his pace. You know, like I have a seven year old brother. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna maybe get. <laughs> It's going to maybe get bad for you. But, like, as far as the drinking goes, like, they're just full on the throttle, oh, yeah. you know. Like, then you got to keep up. But I'm almost 30 years old. I'm trying to run the pace of 22-year-olds, and it just doesn't work out. And we're trying to p- play the pace of you, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just got four kids. So. Yeah. <laughs> when Keegan then, gets so to get out, he just sends it. It's Keegan. not that I didn't, didn't want the hangover. It was just didn't want the hangover with kids. Man, kids are so inconsiderate. Like, you get to bed at, like, 4 in the morning, and 7 o'clock comes around, and I'm not even going to give him a break. We were, he- we were here in this exact place last year, and he won the cup. And we're calling him, where are you at? Um, I, got, I went home. I got, a, I got kids. And so we, we went out and celebrated his win. For Someone him. had to celebrate yeah. for me. I, well, I will say, like I was telling one of the best Crannons, is, uh, the, one of your cup race wins in group therapy is just firing off that night. Keegan put a couple hundred dollars into the Dragon Punch machine. That was probably the last time I went all real hard. The, the funny part about that was is, like, we all had a great time. We closed group therapy down. The next, the next morning out of Green Bay, I had a flight out. Well, come to find out, RJ had the same flight out. Like, it literally looked like a zombie apocalypse in the airport. Like, we were all just zombies walking, completely still drunk. Couldn't I don't know how. Like, didn't even talk to each other. No, like, we like, acknowledged, we like, just hey, kinda, you're cool. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. We're going to go our own ways. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> I, was, uh, I told him that was the time that I, I think I won more money on that punching bag than I did at the track. Yeah. I remember it was like 630 in the morning. RJ's got his hoodie down, his sunglasses on, Aww. and he's just heads down. It was like, I was hiding from the, the world. Worst, for sure. <laughs> hiding from the world. Like, I'm never drinking again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that last 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. So, hey, all right, so here's a question. Obviously, we kind of got into this. RJ jumped in. You guys are pretty good friends. Like, you guys have a ton of fun together. How the hell did you guys become friends? I mean, obviously, I know your dad's been around forever. Your dad's been around forever. Like, how the hell did you guys meet and become friends, though? Because you guys have all kinds of stories. I mean, Tito's told me i got to bring up dog treats to RJ. I don't even know what that's about, but... <laughs> <laughs> Keegan wasn't even behind that yeah, one. Wasn't me, wasn't yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Um, that was CJ. That was CJ that got not me, but he got my brother and uh, Cole, one of our buddies. But yeah, just met uh, Keegan through racing, yeah. basically. Like Pro light days. Uh, Pro light days. This yeah. way. Yep. We we started racing right about the same time. I think my first year was eleven. Yeah, you, I think mine you was twelve. 12. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's we just started racing the the Pro light years, and that's what's so rad about off road. Just a bunch of good people. So yeah. I think um, you know, that's for the most part, everybody's friends. You know, off the track too. Even on the track, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's it's still you're racing hard, yeah. but you know which guys you'll give respect yeah, to, and when yeah. the ones you won't. You know, I think there's a line like you can ra- you guys will race each other hard, but there's there's like a point where you know, hey, I could I, I could spin this guy, or I could do something, get the position, and you won't because there's just a respect level there. Uh, but it's kind of nice to race against guys like that, where you can race to that you know that hard, but know at the end of the day, you're gonna have your back, and if you guys both go in hard, you're not gonna get taken yeah, out. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's what's rad about this kind of racing is I think everyone's mostly on that same level. You know, at some p- times people make mistakes, and there's, yeah. like I said, a few guys that you know, like if they're next to you, you're either going to do what you can to not make them yeah. next to you <laughs> yeah. or you run yeah. them like they run you, you yeah. know. So, like, what goes around kind of comes around out here. So, every, for the most part, everyone's got respect for one another and, and the equipment and the time and money they put into this. Well, you know when there's a mistake and there's a vendetta yeah. 
It's it's very clear yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And then you know when there's going to be a mistake or there's going to be a <laughs> quote unquote vendetta. <laughs> yeah. That's a mistake. So, yeah. Because yeah. at, at the same point in time, like you're on the opposite end of it, right? You're going to be on the outside or they're going to be yeah. on the outside of you, like one of the other races. So. Yeah, I think there's a lot of mutual, like you guys say, mutual respect. Like yeah. there's guys that you know you can race with and race hard with and, and clean with. And there's other guys that race hard, but they're not racing. I think they're just over their head. Exactly, the exactly. They're it's tr- not that they mean 100%. well or they don't mean to hurt you or take you out. It's just they're on the edge yeah. of control. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, you're in control driving it there, and they're not. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. And I guess that's what is interesting about off-road, too, whether it be desert racing, short course. I mean, we, we won't name names, but we know. Like, there's a lot of people, a lot of money, and you can go – if you've got enough, you can be in Pro 4. You can be in a trophy truck. You can be in whatever you want if you've got enough money Money doesn't buy talent. But it's one of those, too. Like, yeah, you can go really, really fast, but when, you know, you're pushed up against the wall, like, you don't have, you know, the skills to recover from it. You know, and it's – that's when you don't want to be next to that guy because he's coming in and he's literally driving in over his head where you're very cool, calm, collected at that same speed, and it's like – it makes it a little nerve wracking because sometimes stuff happens and it's just completely out of your control. Yeah, there's a time you become, you become defensive. For you're like, sure. oh, yeah, I gotta watch yeah, what this yeah, guy's yeah, gonna yeah, do. Yeah, 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 I know there's gotta yeah. be names that your spotter goes, oh, yeah, this guy's yeah, on your inside, yeah. you're outside, and you guys are both going, oh no, we gotta we gotta yeah, get the, out of here. Yeah, it's funny because at the halfway, I ask, who's behind me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what because yeah, I know different yeah. different people. I'm like, oh, yep. okay, I can trust him. Yep. Yeah. Are, are you racing forward for the first yeah. next three turns? Are you racing behind you for the next? No, I mean that that's that's actually a very fair thing though because. Like, we do that same thing with desert, depending on who's behind us, how we pace. But for the most part, like, we're pacing ourselves. We're dealing with the course. We don't know what's coming up on the course. Like, you guys have to deal more one-on-one with the drivers being yeah. on short course than we really do. We have to, like, pit, strategy, everything like that. But it's the same thing. You're 30 seconds away from the person in front of you or behind you. We're driving a lot more or less aggressively. I can only imagine what it's like in that circumstance. Well, it's like at Vegas Torino this year. Like, Britt and I were in the car, and then my brother and Brian took over. But for 400 miles, I mean, Maddie Wedking, us, and Jamie Campbell were all within a minute of each other. For 400 miles, within yeah. a minute of each other. And, you know, somebody pulling the pit, the other one get around, and then you get – and literally we – and it was a battle. And nobody was checking up. Nobody's hitting the stupid tracker box, like, move over. No, but over. you see dust. But, it, it was the same thing. Like, you see dust, you come up on somebody, and you know if you're going to check them or if you're going to be nice yeah. and hit the horn and get around them based on who it was. Yeah, but literally after the race, like, you know, we're all giving each other hugs and high fives. Like, oh, dude, that was awesome. It was a 400-mile yeah. battle, the three of us, you know, and it was like, like, when you can do stuff like that, it's kind of awesome because everybody's racing you know, super hard, but at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it's like, all right, let's have a beer afterwards. And, yeah, yeah. Sure. It's got. To, I can only imagine. Like I've seen some of the three wide, four wide out here on the track, and you watch oh, everybody, yeah. and you're like, oh, 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 like you're waiting. And the fact you guys actually like smoothly get around one of these corners and funnel out, like it, it's it's impressive. Yeah, and the talent field just keeps like getting better. Yeah. The cars keep getting better. So like when you have an opportunity, like you have to take it. Like it's not like yeah. where if your truck's better, you're gonna just drive by these guys anymore. You know, there's such a depth of of the field now. It's like. You got to race hard, but like when you have that opportunity, you have to take it as well. Yeah, those fifteen-minute races are. Uh, yeah, and, and then with the invert, if you're starting tenth or whatever, you, so you're you're passing essentially ten guys to get to the lead in fifteen minutes, which and it's ten good guys. Yeah, yeah. it's not like they're going to let you by, yeah. and so that's what that's what's become really tough, you know. Especially is everybody's really equaled out and been some good racing. Yeah. I've, well, I feel like especially here at Cran in turn one. That's it. One, it's a commitment to go in as hard as you guys do. But two, there's a lot of trust in the people around you because you're going in there, but everybody else is going in just as uh, hard as you are. Like between the commitment and the trust, I mean, turn one's intense. It's man. gnarly it's, to watch that many cars go yeah. in and still almost as many cars go out. Like it's yeah. impressive. It's organized chaos. I can't yeah, believe yeah. more there's not more crashes there. And it not yeah. due to, I mean, people trying to, you could gain or lose a lot of spots just right there, but like you go blind. Like, yeah. And the thing is, you don't know what's. You're listening to your spotter say, okay, they watered this spot, they watered that spot. So you don't get at normal tracks where you get your pre-lap to see the track and you say, all right, I know where this spot is, this is slippery. Well, you're going into Cran and blind. Yep. It Turn could, yeah, it could be perfect traction. Yeah. You keep her to the wood or you come yeah. in on the wood and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm losing man. it in front yeah. of the whole field. You know, yeah. and then they're all checking up and you can't see, so now you're getting into those guys. It's I can't believe there's not more. Yeah, I came in and I it just slid all the way from the out, inside to the outside. I, I didn't think I was going to stop. Huh. Finally yeah. hit a dry spot and you come through. 
But, uh, yeah, that's just what uh, makes it interesting, and I think for the fans. and uh, yeah, well, Keegan's got his starts down, so he doesn't have yeah. to deal with the chaos too often. Yeah. But. Well, I feel like both of you have had a lot of success here at Crandon. I mean, obviously, you you know, I, well, you were back-to-back with cup wins, yeah. right? I mean, you've got some cup wins to your name. Like, I mean, you guys, I, I feel like you guys talking about, you know, Crandon, I, both of you got a little bit of street cred around here. Yeah, definitely not as much. This is the hometown hero. <laughs> yeah. you, know, everyone, you know, everyone knows as Keegan, and there's no one that runs better here than Keegan. So, um, it's we, we come and we try to just learn as the weekend goes on, and I think that's a lot of success that we've been able to adapt to the track. You know, is you got to start your weekend strong. If you start this weekend on a bad foot, it, it compounds all oh, yeah. weekend long, and it's hard, to, it's hard to come from a bad Saturday and then make a good Sunday and then an even better cup race. So you got to just kind of play the system, you know, and it's something that Keegan's been really good at, and we've, we've been learning. You know, you got to start. Luckily for me, I'm not in points. So my Saturday I can kind of, you know, wash we'll away and try yeah. things you know get, on the truck good, and yeah. exactly just be super mellow and then the things are going off of lap times or something for sunday yeah or so like i don't that. know how yeah. that's how champs yeah. been doing it so we'll see how they do it for the the race the yeah. cup races here because i think the last few years they've gone off finishes right yeah, I, don't, well, up I know finish. from saturday or the sunday finish was at yep. a sunday cup you race but no this is great yeah so <laughs> yeah it's a it's a crap shoot rest of your life. no yeah. this is awesome i'm like you guys are coming into the race not even knowing you're like yeah we're just here you just get told what to do yeah. so, to show yeah, up. Like you start here yeah you and that's what at. you do all right so i mean obviously you're in pro four you're in pro two you've done pro fours like cup race sunday do you like playing the chase being the pro four have to hunt everybody down you've been in both positions yeah, dude i mean what, more fun for sure. pro four is more fun yeah. yeah you feel like a sitting duck when you're up oh, there to yeah. pro two like yeah because you never know and you're just driving as hard as you can <laughs> and they're trying to count down like to you you're like oh you're more nervous there when you're the pro four and the, these guys were in Doug and you were in Pro Two at one time, and uh, I remember we had I had fun. I was in Mike Jenkins Pro yep, Four yep. at that time, and it, it was raining a little bit. Yeah, just blew I had, that was the off. most probably fun I've had in a Cup race, and I didn't even win it, but it was a blast yep. like passing yep. these guys in the Pro Four. And, yep. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. thing about like a Pro Two is when a your Pro Two is dialed and hooked up, it's like the most fun to drive. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's hard to hit it dead perfect, but yeah. when it's dead perfect and everything's moving right, your gear splits everything. It's like a rocket ship. It's hooked yeah. up out of the corners. And that's the most fun to drive here yeah. is a hooked-up Pro 2. But when it comes to the cup race, you could have the best Pro 2 on the track, and if the split's not in your favor, those Pro 4s are coming through yeah, at four and a half seconds a lap faster, you know? So you're a sitting duck. So it's fun, but you're just a sitting duck at that yeah. point. And, and you could have enough gap and leave and hope, hope the rest of the field works in your favor. But it's fun coming through in, in Pro 4 because – you have two races in Pro 4. You're racing with your guys in your group, but you're splitting people the whole time. And, and no one gives you an inch, you know. Like, it could be lap three. And, and the Pro 2 yeah. guys you're passing, they think that they're maybe going to still win. So they're giving it their <laughs> all. It still cracks me well, up. We, I we mean, play so bad. That's, that's why it's fun to watch, Whoever's though. leading, we got so a, we got a roadblock for yeah. those Pro 4s <laughs> hard. Yeah. We call it in UTV racing in the desert the donkey cars. Like yeah. if you start, there's like, there's like these donkey cars that you know are just going to hold you up. So it's yeah. like you got to get around yeah. them as quick as you can. And like I won't name names, but I'm sure. And yeah. I, I know uh, when you're pro four, you're like, oh, we got these donkey pro twos, and so we well, just got to get through them. The problem is you come up on them so fast, <laughs> so fast. So you you you're they're so unpredictable. Yep. Like if you just hold your line, you'd be better off. But <laughs> most of them are like, oh, or they try to get out of the way. Well, then they get in the way. Yep. They that's don't realize right. they're yep, that sounds like yeah. desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> donkey cars, exactly. Yeah. You never. You hit the pass and they just stop dead. Like, yeah. whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and a, a pro four around here kind of takes up the whole track. Like, yeah. you're, luckily you're able to move. Like a pro two is pretty stuck to the fast line. You know, yeah. going around using the cushion or or whatever the fast line is. A pro four you can move around, but the pro two guys, most of them have never ri- driven yeah. a pro four, so they don't know. Like they think. I think in their mind they think, like, I'm going to be able to hold this guy off, not realizing the closing rate. Yeah. And they're sometimes trying to get out of the way, but they're, like, literally getting in your way because they don't realize how fast. I get out of the way. If I get caught before, like, last lap, I'm like, I ain't getting run over. I've been in Pro 4. That's the 10-year-old on the go-kart track, right, that's just sitting there fishtailing every corner when you're trying to hit top speed. Or, like I've told him, I'm like, I feel like every person that ever gets their driver's license needs to drive something with a trailer. Yeah. Just so they understand. Yep. But, yeah, he, like yeah. you said, he understands it. Like, sometimes in a cup race, there will be three or four to go, and we're catching, like, pro twos, and they're racing us, like, purposely yeah. blocking us. And you just want to crash them at that I'm point because like, you're I'm like, there's the 30 to 50 grand on the line here, and you're, you're ruining my chance at this race because like, we're in a pro four race at the time. So, it's yeah, people that haven't yeah. driven a pro four probably don't realize, like. Now, last lap, it's a little yeah, different. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're trying exactly, out. You can't exactly. get going. And, yep. But, yeah, anything before that, you're like, ah, go ahead. I'll fall in line. and. Yep. Hopefully yeah. you break. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, here's another thing too. It's like you know, you talked about the money. You know, with the you know, the, to win Sunday, 
the cup race at Cranon, I mean, there's a lot of money involved. And I, I mean, we all know the finances. We all run, you know, off-road programs that run in the black. Um, oh, and the dude, millions we make? Yeah, yeah all the, the millions way. we make, right? But <laughs> I, I think we all like having a lot of fun, and that's why we yeah. chose these occupations, right? But that money you win from a cup race, I mean, that helps your program the next year. Like, people don't realize, like, that kind of check, you don't get that in off-road no. racing. Like, that, you know, to get that, that helps fund the whole program for the next year, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the money, and and even more so than the money. I think it's our last race of the year, and it's the momentum. You know, oh, it's yeah, you yeah. go into the off season, and you with your sponsors. You know, like you won the cup, you won the end of the year. It's like great momentum shifting to a long, long off season yeah. of short course racing. So the money is huge to to these programs. Like we don't race for that anywhere yeah. else in the yeah. short course stuff. It'd be nice to do that every weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. One of my favorite RJ stories is, is this is a few years back, and I don't remember. You didn't have any of your stuff. You didn't have a rig, nothing here. And RJ and I, one day, were partying in the VIP bar downstairs. And I, I wasn't here. I wasn't doing TV at the time. I don't know. But RJ and I are having drinks downstairs. And we're having a good time. Literally, like, the next day, I know RJ's hungover as hell. And I see RJ and he's carrying his helmet around. Dude gets a ride, I think, from Jimmy a, from Bike Man. Yeah, yeah, oh, and, yeah. And he goes yeah. out and he puts it on the podium. Yeah. No, I got I'm fourth. Like, who I got fourth. Yeah. Oh, you I got, got fourth. fourth. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. who does that? Yeah. He goes from here to like partying to like fourth place in a freaking <laughs> yeah. cup race. It wasn't even my helmet. I was staying with <laughs> yeah. Doug Matag that weekend. <laughs> and he had a spare set of everything, so I borrowed all his stuff. Woke up in his motorhome. He had to wake me up. Like, dude, your race is about to go. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I I, dude, I know you were hungover as hell that day. His stuff didn't even fit me. Like his helmet was a little bit too big. You got to keep doing one of these, picking it up. Yeah. That was one of those. I'm like, I wonder how RJ is going to do it, dude. You almost put on the yeah. I thought you were on the podium. You got no, fourth, got and I'm fourth, like, dude, yeah. like high five RJ because I couldn't have pulled it together yeah. like that. That was fun. Yeah, that was a really good time. Yeah, someone didn't show up for their car, um, and I actually had to qualify because the field oh, yeah. was like they only took 20 yeah. or something at the time. So my very first time driving the car, they're like, you have to qualify. And you have to be top 20. To and get your in. brother races UTVs in short course. You've never been like a UTV short course guy. Not you for used to a do, long time. Yeah, I was going to say, you've yeah, been years. Yeah, so yeah, not for a long time. That was time. one of those where you're like coming out of retirement for that. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I didn't qualify great. Like, I just kind of got the car figured out, and I think I got, like, 12th in qualifying. So I was like, all right, I'm in the show. Yeah. <laughs> so we celebrated that that night, you know, and then that morning woke up, and, yeah, it was it was fun. It was a good time. That's what Cranon's all about, you know, those stories. That's all you got to do is keep that. the party going, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I made it through this. I made it to the main show. I made it to It's the funny right. because you talk, to party. you talk to any driver that's raced short course in the last five, six, seven years, they come back to Cranon. 95% of them, if they're just coming to drink beer and hang out, they bring their driver's suit and their yeah, helmet. Just, okay. They yeah. never, you never Tyler quite Duke. know what's going to happen. Yeah. I think of Tyler Duke. Yeah. <laughs> that guy always ends up always with, in some. He, he'll be here somewhere racing. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Well, I, even well, even our boy Street Bike Tommy a couple oh, yeah. years ago shows up, and some sportsman guy gave him his, like, super stock. Yeah, and no he, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy yeah. texts me, and he's like, dude, I'm in number 95. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, this super stock truck. He's like, Look I, down. I, he's like, I, he's like, I'm sitting on the starting line. We're about 30 seconds of yeah. green. I'm calling the live stream, and I'm like, well, I'm getting texts that Street Bike Tommy's in this truck, and they're literally, they're like, I'm getting notes in the helmet. They're confirming it. I'm like, how the hell did Tommy? And he's like, uh, afterwards, I was like, what happened? He's like, oh, I was partying with these sportsman guys back there in Jurassic Park. And he's like, this guy just told me, drive for me tomorrow. If you want to race it, race it. <laughs> Street bike Tommy, he's like, I'd never so – he, he had zero. That's what's cool about yeah. Fall yeah. like, You get like, – well, even like Tanner and those guys <laughs> yeah. coming to race yep. and Travis yep. and last year and Street bike Tommy <laughs> hopping in. Yep. You get a lot of cool people that just come and experience it. Yeah. So. It's a bucket list for everybody. You yeah. know, it's just – yeah, it's. I mean, it's the biggest short course race we do. You know, there's nothing even that comes close to yeah. this for for the stuff we do. So, it's like I came back like five years ago, uh, five six years ago. I can't remember. Marty invited me back, and they paid for my flight and did a bunch of like media and stuff like that. And I can't remember, but I was like, from that point forward, I was like, I know what I'm doing every Labor Day for the rest of my life. Like, I don't care if I have a job or if I'm just coming to hang out. Like. I'm going to be here. You know, it's like, so Brit, like, she came. Are you collecting some... cans next year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was one of those, like, now she's the same way. Like, we know what we're doing for Labor Day yeah. every single year. And like, I'm still it's... waiting on a reason to show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like if one of you two win, it's got to be a yard sale Sunday night. I hope not. i got to yeah. drive to California Monday morning. See, they're getting old. Oh, oh, uh, 30. 30 RJ, you, just, you just dated yourself, buddy. I yeah, I guess I'll sleep in the back at least for a couple hundred miles. <laughs> 
We're probably going to celebrate either way. I say that now. Yeah. But <laughs> Sunday comes. You win. It's yeah. a different story. That was pretty yeah. much spring cran. And it's like, I don't know if this is going on, so we're definitely right. going to have to party. I was like, thank God. Well, and that's, <laughs> the, that's the thing, too, is like we've been working on race trucks, like prepping all week to get here, spend all night getting stuff ready for Sunday. Yep. And then when you win or whatever, not even win, yeah. you're like, all right, we're going to drink so for a while. You're yeah. like, oh, thank God. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, in a way, you're like relieved that everything's over and you just sure. relax. Yeah. There's those the of us that are counting on you to yeah. have a good time. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You're letting the fans down. I guarantee you, between over here somewhere, there, there's going to be someone going, even if we don't win. <laughs> so I yeah. ended up behind uh, the bar at Spring Cranon. Like, yeah, exactly. last, last fall was fun. We had fun. And yeah. I drank out of the cup a couple, couple times. Yeah. We spread COVID well. <laughs> we called it the, yeah. we just called it the cran and flu yeah we all got home and we felt like not good uh, like, I, I was well, what too. do you expect we didn't, yeah. we didn't sleep we worked yeah. like late hours you know we drank a oh, lot out of the single cup yeah, exactly and i I'm was like, just what? thinking that i'm like oh my god yeah but that's like, just a tuesday come on like, the uh, and flu. we get monday off yeah, yeah. we'll be back on yeah. tuesday we'll be yeah. good uh, labor day week you get off right yeah yeah. I, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> Do we have yeah. a flavor day off? He's got to fly. <laughs> we'll be headed west, so. Wait, what's next for you after this? Obviously, we've got Sand Sports uh, in Sand two Sports weeks. show, and then the California 300 will be next for us. Okay. Not not really looking forward to it, but it's next. Sand Sports or California 300? Sand Sports is great. Yeah. UTVs and Barstow, not, not good. Well, it's not like it's going to be the high line for the shock tuning the entire way. I mean, Barstow is rough, but nobody's ran on it for how many years? I, I'm pretty excited for that just because that's kind of like yeah, my, I guess my we'll old see. stomping yeah. ground. But they're big holes. Yeah. I think the shocks are just going to melt off these UTVs. I don't – I'm actually – I'm curious to see the trail because, like I said, it nobody's raced on it for so long. I mean, They've got more and stuff, 11. but it's like all the guys that are running like more than that, it's not the people <laughs> showing up for this race. So I feel like last time I raced Barstow, I think, was – 2001 like and i'm dating myself i was just <laughs> no i mean i was just starting out it was my well my first win ever came in barstow and it was 2001 so i'm like but it's just wild like it's like i haven't had a reason to go back to barstow yeah we go there just because it's close open desert for us to like test but it's so it's i mean brutal. though is everybody goes to testing because it's brutal but you get out of that like the one thing i will give them is cal city I told him he'd never been out to Cal City. So for the race last year, I'm like, it's going to be miserable. It sucks. It's dry. It's flat. Like, everything's just going to be a 90 left or right. It's going to be horrible. Yeah. And the course that they built for that Cal City race, that was actually a really good race and good terrain for, like, knowing what's out there. I was surprised on how kind of diverse they had it. So I'm a little more interested just because growing up out there, I'm like, I, there's the typical stuff that everybody yeah. goes through, and then yeah. there's everything else. Yeah, for so. sure. Oh, is Mario he, back? You can't no, take it's that Chaz, guy it's Chaz anymore. and Who's he? Oh. What team is he with? I don't oh. know. Yours, Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still is weird for me to hear him as Hopi, because I, yeah. I just knew him as Jared Zioma my entire life. And so I like, it's I go. a small world. You know Hopi that was with us? Yeah. Yeah. So like Hopi and I went to high them. school together. No way. Yeah. No, we, Hopi yeah. was two years older than me in high school. Yeah. Literally, we played football together, basketball together, world, baseball it, together. Like. And so I hadn't seen Hopi in, like, shit, 20 years. And we're back here, and we had a house rented on Lake a couple of years ago. And uh, this dude walks up, and we're barbecuing on the thing and drinking beer. And he walks up, and he goes, Jim. I looked at him. He goes, do you know who I am? I'm like, I know exactly who you are, and I'm asking you why you're here. Yeah. And he goes, Dude, he gives me this big old hug, and he's like, oh, I'm helping such and such out. I'm kind of moved back here and everything else. And, like, come to find out he's helping Keegan and everything else. I'm like, dude, That's this is wild. a small. Call him Jimmy. He's like, I know him as Jimmy. Yeah, and I call him, I just call him Zioma. Yeah. You know, it's like you're hearing him as Hopi or whatever. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's this weird, weird world. Yeah, he's that that basically living world. up here all summer. My dad graduated with his dad. Yeah. Like, high school Man. in Parker. Like, That's it's crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Like, I don't know. Small world. Crazy. Yeah. Speaking of, when we, we're organizing. It's probably going to be next spring. Super chicken ride. We got to get your super chicken. <laughs> Britt and I got a super chicken. We got Mark Gomez and his wife with a super chicken. We got to have like, we've got this like this plan that we're going to have this big super chicken ride to the sandbar and have. No, no, no. That's not the plan. That's not. Well, you tell me the plan. But I know the, RJ's the got a super is, chicken. I know. What's yeah, a super chicken? chicken. Have I you want seen that jet ski that like me and Ronnie have that you sit oh, next yeah, to each yeah, other? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a super chicken. <laughs> 
the, the, the steering wheel moves. Yeah. Like, oh, you don't yeah. move? Yeah, you don't move. Oh, yeah. yeah, if you're like, hey, you oh. want to drive? You just slide, yeah, over, slide you drive. over. And then you're like, all right, I'm done driving. So you drive. So Brit, yeah. Brit and I just bought one, and we actually have one of the engineers at Cowie going through the engine, tuning it, and we got a pipe and everything else. Like, it's going to be, we got, yeah, it's, it's so wild. It's, it's, I, I bought a bunch of plastic for the 3D printer so we can make it all fancy. Yeah. But I was like, my ultimate goal with all of this is I want enough of them sitting on the sandbar just so I can take a video and say, look at all these chickens. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> They're they're the the price on them has gone skyrocket. Oh, no. stupid! It's crazy. Because everybody like us, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it just got a fad. And it's a stupid novelty. It yeah. It's like the three wheelers. <laughs> yeah. We all want them. two two years ago. You could have bought this thing for six hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. Nobody, oh yeah, no nobody joke. Nobody wanted one. And now yeah. they're pulling like five, six, seven grand. Yeah. The ones have been restored yeah. ten, twelve. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. Brit and I, insane. ours ran perfect. Like it needs a new seat cover. It needs to, it needs a wrap, but it ran perfect. And I think we paid thirty five hundred bucks for it. Yeah. Which I thought we much. stole it. Yeah, but it, no, it feels like we paid too much, but I know we could yeah, flip it and make yeah, six right sure. now. Well, exactly. now I know, but I told him, I was like, I want to buy one exactly the way it is. We just got to stay up river. So when it blows up, we <laughs> yeah. can just float down. Yeah. And now all of a sudden it's getting like a motor tune yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like we got to take Nobody this can seriously. Get, you can't <laughs> stock. Yeah. No, yeah, ours has a 750 swap in. Oh, it. you got yeah, the 750 yeah. swap. Got a hot rod, yeah. No, see, the whole uh, point is, I was yeah. like, everybody else brings their big power boats to the channel, and you can't find a place to park and everything else. I'm like, I just want to roll up in the super chicken and just be able to just be like, whoop, right between two power boats, park. We got our ice chest. That's it. In my defense, the first accessory bought for it was the ice chest rack <laughs> for the back. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ours is just box stock with a 750. Yeah. Like, it's still got the oh, original yeah. graphics yeah, totally and stock. everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big, big motor. I didn't even know they made something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they only made it for like three years. Uh, All right, come on, Keegan. We'll find one for you. Ne- next Labor Day, a year from now, RJ and I are bringing our super chickens, and we're just going to raise hell on Cranon Lake here. Yeah, we'll go have a Congo <laughs> yeah. there. And just well, they have tandem races we'll for it. Yeah, they do. We'll, they we'll set races. up some buoys. Yeah, exactly. Switch. Yeah, so you got to drive like a couple laps. It's like the Class 11 race. Yeah. That would yeah. actually be rad. So we'll get a bunch of, like, Britt and I, you guys just literally do one lap and you slide the steering yeah. wheel over and the other person drives the lap and slide it back well, over. You get to lean like a chariot, right, too, so you got oh. the weight to throw on it. Yeah, I, I've I've been found chariot races? I like found like a on the motorcycles? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah, yeah exactly. Dude, that's wild. No, that, that's exactly what it, the whole point. We even got old school uh, wetsuits. Yeah, we went I and got these village wetsuits. Like, yeah. Yeah, we need a surf and turf race next year, like where you go doubles on the lake. And then you come here and race the class eleven yeah. race. Ooh, I'm in. That that Ooh. would be a blast. Dude, are those cla- the class elevens are tough, bro. Dude, I had no idea. They're I, tough. I've oh. never driven one. Me neither. That's the first time I ever driven one. Yeah, it was, and it was wet. <laughs> it's a handful, wet. huh? Dude, you're it swatting <laughs> flies and no, no, no power. power. You're like, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. the fun of it, though. That's the <laughs> best you're part. You're just clutching it. Bum, 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 bum. Exactly. And like <laughs> shifting gears. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I don't know because <laughs> we didn't. Oh, you yeah. got to practice a lap in yours. I went with so them, so I, I was watching know. a little bit. Yeah. So I just came out the gate and like no idea what gear we're going to be in the whole time. So I was just like, all right, run this one out. I don't know that it matters. We don't have a tag. You don't even have a tag. Do you have a tag? No. I don't have a tag. He's I'm like, just, just whatever sounds good. Yeah. I'm like, all right. Exactly. No. And then the throttle's yeah. like way different, yeah. like on ours. I'm oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't fit, and it's like oh. a roll, like a like a ball. Like, yeah. It's like a like a rollerblade wheel. Yeah. Well, at least in my car. Yeah. It was, yeah. It's weird, and it's <laughs> and it's yeah. like they're like angled up. I don't yeah. know if the one in your car. Was I, I'm just. Up. I can steward my knees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I hope I don't got to shift a lot. I'm shifting under my knee. I'm I didn't like, expect what? it to be that fun, did you? It was fun, yeah. yeah. I didn't expect it'd be way, it to be that fun. If the track was good, it'd be real yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but once it dries out, yeah. it was wet. They like, doused it. Yeah, I was like, good first time for us. It's like, it throws in Carlson car. smoked two cars. I, I, I believe that. Dude, he, <laughs> he wrecked his car and one ripped the left fronts off oh, both cars. Oh, man. I didn't see that. He's got a class. He, he must have been behind us. I was right behind you. That's gotcha. hard to do in a class he's 11. Got, he's, got, he's got a class 11? No. no. He, they, let you us ride in it. Did you, oh, no. I knew you guys were doing it. I just He got go. in with yeah, him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I guess someone spun out, and like he went to like miss him, and they both went the same way and ripped the left fronts off. So. Dude, it's a handful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your squad <laughs> flies. Yeah. It'd be hard to, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you guys, you guys have started up here, right? Like, yeah. this is Jim and I's background. This is why we love desert racing so much is because of the 9s and the 11s and the superstars. And the yeah, you're like on a like, short track, class 11, yeah. slippery. Like, my guy spun out twice when he was ra- driving really? the first time. Yeah. We He's call like, it, oh, we call it's it pirouetting, slippery. though. You just do a little pirouette and keep going. It's They're fine. not used to the... Wet yeah. track out in the desert. Yeah. You don't, fi- yeah. We don't fight it. We yeah. don't try and fight against it. You just let it spin out and then just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how my girl. Mine's a girl. I'm with oh, a girl, yeah. and I don
I was giving them tips, like, because they doused it the first lap. Yep. I was like, ride the, yep. ride the dry, ride the dry. I was trying to tell her that, too. Uh, she was like. So how's get- the swap work in the middle of the race, though? We're not going to swap middle race. I think it's like they will race their race, and then we're yep. going to race our race yep. type thing. Like on the front show. It's not like a fast yeah. deal. Like, so say Keegan's guy wins the their I was half. hoping, like, Chinese fire drill. No. And like, then I think we'll probably, no. I'm assuming. They like, don't we'll even start tell you what you car finish. you're exactly. getting yeah. in until, yeah. the, until they I swap. Hope, Driver yeah. swap. Number 26. I hope I'm not getting out of there fast because I ain't having it. <laughs> I'm crammed in there. Uh, well, yeah, we have, we'd have to get rid of a, an extra person and then swap. Yeah. I'd have to come from the sidelines. Yeah. <laughs> Guns running down the strip. I'm coming. Come on. <laughs> we'll get you a sidecar. Yeah. It was funny because I told my whole crew, I'm like, I'm in a blue one. And they're like, okay. <laughs> then we go out there and they're like, there's four blue ones. Yeah. That was weird. Time yeah. My son was mad because I had an orange one. He's like, ah, oh, I want you to have a blue one. <laughs> We could swap if you want. I have a blue one. faster yeah. than what we I thought. We still got a Chinese too. fire drill. Yeah. I was like, and they ride better than what I thought, too. 100%. Because but they don't so have handy. suspension. That's no, why. they actually <laughs> ride. I, I was waiting for a bounce, yeah, to be honest. Too. Like, did you come out of, uh, like, when we left out of the start, did you come out of there hot and hit the first two jumps wide oh, yeah. open? Oh, you, you were flying. <laughs> did the, you brakes, see? the brakes are horrible. Don't work. So I got on the brakes, and I swear I sped up, and I'm like, okay. So I'm sliding, and I'm like, I got to throttle back up because I'm losing the back yeah, end. Yeah, I saw And you. I just jumped it on the left side, which is a little bit bigger, and I just slapped the front end. I'm like, I oh, like, my gosh, this is going to yeah. be a long day. I was day. right behind him. Yeah. I was like, he's not slowing yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, shit. Bad idea. The <laughs> brakes are bad. Bad. They don't really do anything. No. no. They no. sound like the old <laughs> drum brakes, going back right? in the gravel pit. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yep, yep, she ain't stopping. Yeah. Just did yeah. one of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw her in. Yep. 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 They don't really work. Yeah. Oh, man. The original crazy guys. Uh, I, yeah. Those guys I, Those guys that drive those fast could probably drive a lot of things. Oh, for yeah. sure. If you could drive that fast, yeah. That's a handful. Yeah. They'd get into like this pro two, and they'd be like, "Ooh, this is oh, there's yeah. not as much yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, Power yeah. steering, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, this brakes this work. Is easy. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Oh. That's comical. Yeah. So any of those classes are you look at Rob Mack, got to start in sixteen hundreds. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, you know, and he still goes back and just slays it. But I feel like you learn in like the limited class, even like you guys with pro light, and then you get into something that's faster with more horsepower and better brakes and suspension. Makes you appreciate everything more. Yeah, oh, yeah pro sure. light's like. A, Cadillac compared to <laughs> yeah, that was gnarly. And uh, you're like in there like yeah. like this, like yeah. you're, the, you're like in there. And uh, there's and then everybody's like next yeah. to everybody. We're tall, so like I don't know about you, but I was I'd like tilt my yeah. head. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Only thing I knew about my car, I got in. And I'm like, so what do I need to know about it? She's like, you turn these three switches uh-huh. up, yeah. and her name's Yolo. Yolo. <laughs> Yolo. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's like, that's freaking just, awesome. Yes. Call her Yolo, and I'm like, all right. I feel like that's the mu- the the can't miss race of the weekend. Yeah. Well, it's oh, funny it's gonna though. Funny I, it's going to be funny. <laughs> of, what was it? Koh when they had the the <laughs> class eleven race. Everybody gather around at Koh. Yeah. Like, yep. No. I hope to miss they it. don't water it like that. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's that's gonna gonna be we're going to wreck. What well, did they awesome. water it like? Like the good old boys race. They oh, flood the yeah. track. For it, that. Was it was like it was, that. Slick. it was slick. Like yeah. you were, tra- uh, you were swatting you, flies. You could there. tell my guy hasn't driven much on slick. Yeah, because he just right across. I'm like, uh oh, that ain't going <laughs> to stick, man. And oh, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> <on>. <laughs> I didn't get to ride, so I don't know what it was. Like I was like, there, I was like but. outside, right? I don't. He's like, well, it's heavy. I said, yeah, you'll be way faster. We start going around cars. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that's wild. I can't wait for this race now. Yeah, that's tomorrow night, I think. Tomorrow night, yeah. yeah I think tomorrow it's like night. 8.30. During Wet Possum. Oh. Who do you no, have winning we're it, Tito? Saturday night, Wet oh, Possum. sorry, my bad. Who's winning it? I, I don't know. No, Somebody no, from us, south like, of the border? It's a pro-am race. So we They race first, and we race next. Yeah, we finish off. Actually, I think Tanner's going to be fast. I do, too. Tanner was fast. Tanner's faster than anything. Because right? he, I think he he's raced like uh. That's He's got probably a Volkswagen it's, patch on his. It, suit. I was gonna say it's, it's, it's pretty similar yeah. probably to his GRC yeah. car. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that would make Rallycross <laughs> interesting if they did it in Volkswagen oh. class 11s. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I would tell the Tanner gap. that Tanner, you want to make your sport interesting? Race uh, class 11s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah that would power. actually be uh, fun to watch. Rallycross yeah. in class 11s. Yeah. I would. I would. We would buy a class 11 if that was the case. Yeah. yeah. Like, even stage rally in a class <laughs> 11 would be fun. I mean, dude, the odds are good for them. So they said their cars are worth about twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, in uh, it went Sunday, like ten grand, 10 grand or something. Grand. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk about something that's escalated in value? We talk about super chickens. Literally, like six, seven years ago, you buy class eleven for five grand, yeah. like race ready. What do yeah. they want now? Like twenty? Yeah. It's yeah. One of those was for sale. I saw a for sale sign on the back. Fourteen grand. Oh, jeez. That's still a deal. 
That's a handful for fourteen yeah, grand for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it was fu- it's fun though. Yeah, like, it was fun. I'll, I'll have I'll way have a more fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's what yeah. I told him. I said it's like fast go karts, but yep. handful for sure. For sure, I, it'll be different with the track not wet. Yeah, but the track yeah. wet was, was it was really sketchy. Yeah. First time out on yeah. the track. Yeah. It'd be pretty awesome if they get a nice blue groove in or something. Leave yeah, it yeah. for the class yeah. 11s. Yeah, they, they do not of... need to water, yep. especially for us. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be buying some <laughs> class 11s. That's what I said. Uh, case. Sorry, guys, yeah. you can just leave them here. Yeah. Yeah, is that your agreement? <laughs> like you guys have to pay for damage? I, that, I, think, they, the that... I think they got like a damage clause. Like, <laughs> really? like it was so, pretty like, loose program. Like I don't really know yeah. like the agreement. Really, they just said, "Hey, you're driving this one." Yeah. I said, "All right, I'll show up." Yeah. Crannon's bankrolling the whole deal, I guess. I think, I think Crannon has like a slush fund for like crash cars, so gotcha. to help them pay for stuff. But is that just for this, or is that for anything? No, not for us. Uh, <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, they how many times have you guys? They called? don't care how big we <laughs> yeah. crash our. Truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming, fans hey, Cliff. Can it, I yeah. can I tap into yeah. that slush fund? Yeah. Buddy? Yeah. Fans love. Oh, it. I'm thinking. I'm like, I own the yard at that point. Like. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, there's nothing like that. You know what? I'm most impressed. What time's your race, Tito? <laughs> what time's your race? Uh, oh, you oh, all yeah. right still? Five no, minutes? We'll, all right. No, we'll, we'll tap out here that. in a few. Yeah. We'll, we'll wrap it up here yeah. in a few minutes. Yeah, Tito's – Are you, you're you actually racing, though, Tito. He's mentally correct? preparing. Well, I said, I said Tiffany Stone would take it. Come back in. You – you yeah absolutely you and Tiffany Stone could be so is it just team, I'm not racing in this foot race one and two are you racing RJ no I'm not in do you want me us to win this or me and RJ to get in we'll wait till he puts oh his we got Tito on. coming out <laughs> yeah no there's a spot yeah. reserved for Team Vision Wheel yeah if you, you guys want to jump yeah in, but absolutely. do you want me and I mean, me and RJ you, to go steal your money if you think you can win. I mean, it's five hundred and three dollars. I mean, all we got to do is drink beer and run, right? Yeah, that's, I think that's we're going to be good at both it. those things. Yeah, there's a Joker lap in there too. So, so what do you, where's what's what is the what does this entail? So, in. so kind of the basic concept of it is you're going to start underneath the Red Bull Arch. Uh, so there's a short leg and a long leg. Short leg, you chug the beer, you run, you tap your partner, they chug, they'll do a long leg where there's going to be beer waiting for you. Like there. what's long leg here? Like so like the length of the awning, <laughs> like the length of four awning, like. <laughs> Like you're going, a lap. Like you're going down <laughs> to the uh, all the way to gravel pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, gotta go, you gotta go up turn one and then 3K. back around. So uh, you got dudes running back down. No, it's not too far. It's maybe like two awnings deep, maybe. Yeah. So like one awning deep and then two awnings deep. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and then once you chug that beer, you turn around. You run back to your partner. They chug their second beer, and you got to. Is run it up, like a flip up, cup too? Uh, no, nope, just chug, just chug it. Like a full beer? A uh, half cup of beer. Uh, so some some people have to money, exist though. tomorrow. And then you got to go up through the Red Bull Arch. But at some point, you got to go around. There are cones on the outside. At some point, one of you has to go around the cone. It's like a joker lap. Oh, right. You want to run and drink beer, I mean, Cassidy? you want in on this? I mean, if there's an opening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you got yeah. an opening for us. We, so the, the reason What's why that? we had it to, like, four teams is because we were going to buy hurdles. And we weren't sure on how many <laughs> hurdles. We were gonna do hurdles, bro. You hurdle, yeah. We were gonna, bro. You ain't getting you, over you, no hurdles. Okay, we're I gonna feel like, like there was hurdles. We'd have good. a real big yeah. advantage. Yeah. 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 Team we won this for yeah. sure. <laughs> we were gonna do mini hurdles, like 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 two feet maybe. Oh, yeah. oh. so just as like a joke. So somebody, like all you gotta do is just kind of like go over it, like the size of a log, basically. Oh. And uh, so that's what we we're gonna do. But we couldn't get them here in time. So I was like, all right, well, this is gonna be a flat out like. like These guys have stuck. This has been the last three races. Lena, right? It started at Lena, yeah. Bark River, and then here. They put 500 bucks for each really? one to win. Yeah. yeah. Dave Mason Who's won it? the last one. Really? Yeah, he won Believe more money not. in the foot race Dude than Dude uh, showed up and. and uh, he had his running shoes really? on. Yeah. He had, yeah, dude, he had compression yeah, really? shorts and shorts on. Oh, he dude. plays for keeps. Dude, he was stretching before he went out there. Dude, yeah. He, he was, was really into it. And, like, as he's warming up, he's like, oh, I ran track. I'm like, yeah. oh, my. <laughs> he, he, he took that pretty soon. Yeah. I was like, dude, I wouldn't pick a guy who runs track. Is he? Is he I was still? Kinda, in the, is he in the? Is he in the game? The defending yeah, champ? Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I was kind of mad that I had to run like three times. I was out of breath. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That, yeah, that, okay, that was because it rained. It rained at Bark River, so the whole track was slop. So running up the hill, obviously there, there's a big yeah, uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. the downhill is like fine. So did you see the, the Bark River one? So. Bark River, you had to start at the finish line. Oh, I saw around. the I saw the Lena one. I yeah. think I didn't yeah. see the. Bark he River had to one. 
slam, half a beer, flip cup, run all the way up again. But it's bracket racing. Gotcha. So, so it took a while. It was like five. There was like if you won, you had to go five times. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, the last one, they made him chug a whole beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were almost uh, dead, Dave and them. All right. Dave, I think yeah. I might be out. You yeah. might no, this partner. is easy. No, no, so that's why we change it for this one then, is that there are going to be four heats. So whoever wins in the heat goes right to the finals. And then, uh, so you're going to do your four heats. Fifth race is going to be LCQ. Top two in there go to the finals. So, like, if you have to do the LCQ, you're basically running three times. Gotcha. Whereas, like, the bracket was, you know, I, I, again, I think the mud really – Made people yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it was thick. Yeah. It was Cor- Corey ate shit. Oh, Corey, <laughs> come around the corner. He he had he had it on the guy to come around the corner, and I'm looking, and I, he steps in the puddle and slips, boom, and he hits, and he hits, and I just see water go everywhere, yeah. and he's laying there. <laughs> he just and he left. Was like standing yeah. water. He just yeah. left. He was so mad. Yeah, and then the guy behind him is I think he's a chubby. guy. He was just, winning too. Yeah. No way. He was winning his yeah. race. Yeah, chubby guy just takes the berm around. <laughs> <laughs> and then just wins the race. So, oh man, All no, right, it well. should be fun, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring are you whiskey. in RT? Are you good? Yeah, I guess uh, I'm in. Yeah. If, that, if there's an open, All right, what time? Eight o'clock. Right? Eight, yeah, eight o'clock. So, All right. Well, I think we should wrap this up. I don't yeah. know where Britt went. There she is. <laughs> I think we only got three Go beers left. Dinner. Oh, we got but, five minutes left on the battery. So, well, uh, yeah, yeah. God, what are you guys doing at Impulse? Better, you don't have like this super good start, like yeah, Tesla yeah, batteries. We'll start from yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly yeah. right. <laughs> he knew how to cut you off. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. How, how, he only charged how, it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's right, I haven't got this. Should be about one. Perfect. I haven't got the bill yet for this either. <laughs> Depends if you win. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take our money and then it's. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to win. This yeah. Show. Yeah. Like stretching. We're, going to win my money back. We're, yeah. We're going to invoice it. 503. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I win. Super it. specific. Yeah. <laughs> Cash. Uh, JB15 oh. is paying for the race yeah, tonight. Right. <laughs> Should be. I'll write you a check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Checks well, in the mail. I will say the most bounce. impressive thing of this whole deal is I've been staring at this nacho machine. You want some, don't you? No, Every- no. I'm looking at this. I'm like. Britt, we need a nacho machine for the house. Like we got a hot dog roller too, but it's not out. <laughs> I know our pit's right here, and my team always I, is like, "Dude, Keegan's got nacho." No, I'm no, looking at this. I'm like, Britt, I need a nacho uh, machine it, at the it, house. It makes like, me look <laughs> real bad, yeah, because my guys just stare over here and they're like, "We got uh, nacho Keegan, machine." Well, they can come. Oh, eat some nachos. Right, oh, dude, that, that's a, that's yeah, a team yeah, player. He's yeah, loaning you guys good. your guys' nachos. Like, that's an olive branch right there if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. So do you go to like Costco and get cheese in bulk? Actually, right down eats and treats. No way. She's got the hookup. Yeah, eats like, and hey, treats. We need, yeah, we bag. need. I guess yeah, this is Wisconsin. Bag. Like cheese yeah. should be pretty freaking easy. Yeah, you to get. get it anywhere. <laughs> we should. Speaking of the hot dog roller, I'm gonna have to get that out. Ooh, <laughs> hot dog Ooh. roller and a nacho the, machine. The, the I, I almost bought last year. I almost bought a popcorn machine <laughs> too. <laughs> well, we, what we've learned is if short course doesn't work out, you can own a convenience store, buddy. He's got a gas. Hey, I'm just investing in another business. We're gonna tell everyone like. After race hot dogs, yeah. Keegan's pit. Yeah. <laughs> My pit. <laughs> yeah. A really odd request or odd, odd offer, uh, bro. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Dude, Prince offers you pancakes yeah. after basketball. <laughs> what? It's from a, it's yeah. from a skit, yeah. Jim was around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, time All right. to wrap it up because we got a battery going to die here. But Keegan, and we got a race Tito. to get to. Yeah, we got a race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a foot race, but yeah. thank you guys. It's going to take me at least. 25 minutes to get warm. I was going to yeah. say, I got to stretch. <laughs> Go, eat Go some take dinner. a few Advil. Yeah. Maybe, and yeah. <laughs> Maybe a twisted tea for yeah. courage. Yeah. And I'm ready to rip. I'm telling you, the, the Cranon drink that Brittany figured out last year twisted tea with peach crown royal. Dude, mm. it's like a peach iced tea on ice. Oh my gosh, dude, that is. Are you just a normal right. twisted tea guy? Yeah, normal. normal. Yeah, a little That's peach crown royal in there makes it a peach iced tea. Dude. All right, I'll give it a whirl, man. I'm, t- I'm telling you, RJ, it's. You don't have to race tomorrow. You're good. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah the class 11. Oh, yeah. well. We got to be in prime I shape. Feel, yeah. No, I feel like you need to drive that There's drunk. more money on the line for that than <laughs> yeah. any race, other race. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's saying something when class 11 and the cup right? race are on the same level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. All right. All right, right <laughs> well, we got a big race. Yeah, yeah we got to Sign it off here right, from Cranon with the Gentle Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone.
When it's time to replace the tires on your vehicle, General Tire delivers the tires you need for both your next big adventure and your daily commute. Whether you need all-season traction, lasting tread wear, or a quiet drive, General Tires are designed to deliver whatever life brings your way. From all-season ultra-high performance tires for passenger cars and crossovers to extreme all-season mud terrain and tires for light trucks and SUVs, General Tire delivers great performance. To find your ideal tire, visit GeneralTire.com. General Tire, official tire of the Jim Beaver Show. Conditions off the pavement are always changing, so why settle for a light bar that just turns on and off? The Rigid Adapt is a revolutionary new light bar that will automatically select from eight beam patterns that range from a widespread 90-degree flood to a 15-degree spot based on your vehicle speed. Try that with your knockoff light bar. A dash-mounted controller allows the user to toggle between adaptive mode beam patterns and rgbw accent lighting with adapt it's easier than ever to own the night don't just shred your way through any off-road rugged terrain get into gear with gsp xtv and let us redefine your adventure the gsp advantage of quality and performance sets the standard for utv axles we strive to provide premium atv and utv axles to keep you shreddy ready kick up some dirt and get in the driver's seat with gsp xtv With over 35 years of experience, drive with a company you can trust. Drive with GSP. For more information, please visit us at gspxtv.com today. Social media? Yeah, we've got that. Jim Beaver 15 on all major platforms and Jim Beaver Show, JB15 Group, and B Cardone 15 on the gram. All right, welcome back to the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. Big thanks to uh, all of our guests, Tito, the boys at Impulse who filmed this. If you're listening and you haven't watched the video version of this, head over to our YouTube channel. Make sure and check it out. Check out our friends at Impulse and their podcasts on Short Course and all kinds of fun, man. They kill it in the Midwest. Uh, Great podcast. You should subscribe to that. At the same time, you're subscribing to this one over on Apple Podcasts as well. Leave a rating review, all that good stuff. Like you heard in the little liner there, at Jim Beaver 15, at Beaver, Cardone 15 on social media. Jim Beaver 15 has uh, daily uh, um, news on uh, motorsports, all our audio files. Uh, man, we've got three, four shows a week dropping uh, across all of our brands. So uh, definitely uh, uh, check us out, JimBeaver15.com. Big thanks once again, Keegan, RJ, even Nash, uh, Tito. Uh, great show. Uh, Brittany and I had an absolute blast and, uh, man, if you haven't been to Crandon, you need to make that one happen. It should be on everybody's bucket list. Crandon always going off, especially Labor Day weekend. Not saying don't go in June. I'm just saying if you go in June, you got to go Labor Day because uh, you're selling yourself short. Uh, so, yes, uh, if you're tuning in, we will be live out at the Sand Sports Show doing a Q&A with Kawasaki Friday night. Brittany and I will be throwing down the Pro Armor booth front and center on Saturday out at Sand Sports. Fast forward two weeks, and you know what? We are going to be out at the Off-Road Expo in the General Tire booth throwing down some radio with General Tire. So, uh, And then a week later, yes, we're going to be at Jet Ski World Finals with our friends with Pit Viper doing a show from the Jet Ski World Finals with Pit Viper. So, we got a lot of radio coming at you, a lot of podcasts, not to mention our daily shows and everything else. So definitely go and check it out. And uh, thank you guys for continuing to support us. If you like what you heard, let us know. If you didn't like what you hear, eh, let us know as well, man. We like the uh, fan feedback. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I got this week. Also, just want to uh, send one more shout-out to our good friends at Rufus Racing. We are thinking about you guys. Um, man, Zandy was a hell of a dude. And, uh, you know, this one's for you, Zandy. See you next time right here on The General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. That's a wrap for this edition of the General Tire Jim Beaver Show with Brittany Cardone. Don't forget to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and follow Jim Beaver 15, B Cardone 15, and Jim Beaver Show on social media. We're also on the web. Hit us up at jimbeaver15.com for all the latest. We'll see you next time.